we're ready. Hello, my darlings. Welcome back to another video. I know I haven't been present in a very, very, very long time. Okay, so today's video is way different. I'm gonna be doing a little intro about myself. I basically started my whole channel backwards. I started talking about my first audition. I started writing a song in one day. I started writing letters to myself. Pretty weird, okay. Let's get to the video. So, first thing that you should know about me. If I speak weird, or it might sound that I don't know what I'm saying, is that I get super nervous around the camera. Like, you guys have no idea how nervous I am right now because I'm basically talking to a camera. Basically, it's my phone and I'm just like watching it, watching it. And I'm like hiding myself from it. And it's, it's just weird because you get nervous and you start telling yourself, uh, should I be doing this? Uh, uh. Am I sweating? Because my head starts sweating and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm okay. Okay, so first thing that you need to know about me. My name is actually Norma Irene Alvarez Rivera. <laughs> or as I wanted to call myself, because I wanted to shorten my name, Mia. You see? Norma and Irene I. Alvarez <laughs> I don't even know how to spell my own username <laughs> Why Nia del Angel? Nia del Angel, Nia, obviously it's my name It's a shortened version Shortened version of my name And del Angel, it's cause Funny story And it's a really cute childhood story My uh, last name for my username came up because when I was five years old, I used to sing this song that was called Angel and I would always sing it, always, like, always. It was my go-to show-off song. Like, every time I would sing it, I'm like, you know what, voy a cantar la del Angel. La del Angel, la del Angel, yeah. And that's the song that everyone would ask for. It would be like, ay, Norma, canta la del Angel, canta la del Angel, and that's why. I am from Durango, Mexico, and that's a state, obviously, in Mexico, <laughs> duh. And I moved in from Durango when I was five years old, and I came here to El Paso. <laughs> so I'm basically, I'm from, I was born in Durango, Mexico, but I was raised in El Paso, Texas. That's why I know English and I know Spanish. Or sometimes I don't even know either of them because sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, yes, I'm from Durango, Mexico. Uh, I am bilingual, obviously, English and Spanish. I have two older sisters. Uh, one of them is a beauty guru that I'm trying to convince to make a channel because honestly, she is awesome in makeup. I don't know about myself, I try. I have another... Uh, oh, I have another sister in Miami who is also in digital media. Right now she's working in her own TV uh, television program, which is called El Reventón. I really hope you guys can go watch it. See, I'm always sponsoring my own sisters. Woo, hermanitas, let's go. The oldest one? is Cherida Varinia Alvarez Rivera. Yeah, that, that's right, her name is Varinia. Imagine being called Varinia. <laughs> y luego Estefania de Nazaret, which she also has a stage name. Her name is Nazaret Rivera, if you guys wanna look her up in Instagram or Facebook, cause you guys should really follow both of my sisters. They're awesome, they're all right. I have nothing against them. I'm the baby. I'm the baby of the family. I'm the one who gets spoiled. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not spoiled. Or maybe it's a stereotype that everyone has of, of youngest siblings. That we always get spoiled. <laughs> you know what? That's besides the point. And my parents, obviously, mom and dad. My mom's name is Marielena Rivera Herrera. And 
she's the person that I love. I love to bother on Snapchat. Like, if you guys see my Snapchat stories, it's all about her. The unique, the perfect, la más linda, la hermosa. Dios de mi vida, he creado un monstruo. Ay, vas a empezar y todo recién levantada, ¿no, Norma Irene? ¡Maldita eres! ¡Te amo! <risa> Hija de tu madre, sí, tú eres mi madre. She hates me for that, like she really does. But she likes it. Yo sé que le gusta a Nena, yo sé que le gusta que la grabe. Le gusta ser el centro de atención a mi madre mía. Porque sí le gusta. Ya la veo. Y me acomodo mi bini. Ah, por cierto, la bini que traigo puesta, ¿les gusta? La hizo mi madre. La hizo nena. Por si querían saber. Ok, y ahora mi padre. His name is Memo. Guillermo Álvarez Delgado. That's his full name. You see, if you're Mexican, you have a long name. You better know that. You know that. You know that you at least have two names in your whole name. For example, in my high school graduation, they would be like, uh, this is your whole name, right? And I'm like, yes. Do you want us to use this one? The one in the middle or the first one? I'm like, the whole name, everything, todo. Norma Irene Álvarez Rivera. But obviously they were gringos, so they were like, Norma Irene Álvarez Rivera. You, you, that was, that was my name. Oh, I like to hear my name, I'm like, yeah, that's me. contándoles de Memo. Memo is mi papá. Obviamente, tiene bigote. Tiene bigote. Y yo le digo que se parece al Lorax cuando no se lo pinta porque lo raro es que se le pone como anaranjado. He looks like the Lorax. You get me? Because he has a big ass mustache. It's like, my dad's the Lorax. Because he's short and he has a mustache. <laughs> Leave me alone, I make myself laugh. If you see me squinting my eyes a lot, or if you see me hiding, it's because I have a lazy eye. Honestly, I do have a lazy eye. And if you see it, I am so sorry. I'm not perfect. Ugh. Bueno, getting back to me. Getting back to me. Well, you, are, you guys already know I speak English, I speak Spanish. And I'm from Durango, Mexico, and I'm a dreamer. Let's go, dreamers. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I currently have a small business with my family. In With my family, it's called El Coco. Memo's Restaurant. It's a Mexican place. Mexican place. It's a Mexican restaurant. They're good. Burritos de alta calidad. Gorditas de alta calidad. Tortas de alta calidad. We've been there for five years already and I've been working there for five years obviously since I was 13. I learned to be a waitress, I learned to be a cashier, I've learned to have patience with people a lot, a lot of patience. People are great, I love people. Yo solita me hago reír, déjenme. He sido mesera por cinco años. He dado cinco años de mi vida a la meseriada y no me arrepiento. No me arrepiento because that's been getting me money. Puro money. When I was 13, I got my first $5 tip and I'm like, oh yes, people can give me money for being nice to them and serving their food. Let's go. But then I got tired of it. Honestly, I'm getting tired of it. Like. Being nice for too long, it's it's too much. It's too much. Nah, nah. Ellos comen y luego se van. Ellos comen y luego se van. Ellos comen y luego se van. That's the process. And some people don't even leave tip. They're like, okay, yeah, I got a good service, I got a good meal, but I'm not leaving anything because y'all ain't good enough. <laughs> That's why I'm getting tired of being a waitress. <laughs> Christ in Spanish. <laughs> Me es que esta cámara me pone mal. Y ni siquiera es una cámara así profesional de alta calidad, es un iPhone. 
pero tampoco es cualquier iPhone, así que no me quejo, no me quejo, no me puedo quejar. I don't know how to do this channel. Like, I speak English, then I speak Spanish. I speak English, then I speak Spanish. English, Spanish. English, Spanish. Español, inglés. Español, inglés. So, I don't have, like, a determined language for my channel. I'm just gonna speak however I want. Me vale. I sing since I was four years old. The first song that I sang and that my mother discovered that I knew how to sing was Pero Me Acuerdo de Ti by Cristina Aguilera. Oh, yeah. So ever since I was four years old, I've been a fan of Cristina Aguilera. Get that! Yeah, I've been singing since I was four years old. Then I got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just kidding. I stopped singing when I was 12, 13, 14, and 15. <laughs> and I still stop singing because I get nervous. Why did I stop singing when I was 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18? Why do I stop singing? Uh, my mom tells me that that I need to stop, that I need to stop being so afraid of what's gonna happen. Like, I always want to know what's gonna happen. I'm like, what if I do this wrong? And what if I do this right? And what if this doesn't work out? Y que si me equivoco, y que si no hago esto, y que si no lo hago el otro, y me quedo que... And um, I basically started this channel because Other than, other than showing my voice and what I want to do with my singing and how I want to start presenting myself, auditioning in places. For example, last year I went to La Voz, which is also, it's gonna be on TV now. I didn't make it. <laughs> I can't imagine myself right now with the Christy, with the Christy, with uh, Mr. Krabs' small violin. The, that one I can't imagine myself just telling my story like it's because I've been through some things that a lot of people are like oh you should just get over it like stop listening what people think and stop listening just do yourself do yourself <laughs> just be yourself just do whatever you want but I'm the type of people that really 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 care for other people's opinions I'm like Oh, what if these people don't like it? What if people like it? What if people don't like it? Will I do this right? Would I do this right? Would I do this not? Blah, 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 blah. Like, I just mess around with my head. O sea, yo, yo misma me embaraño la cabeza de ideas que ni siquiera van con lo que estoy haciendo. For example, I stop singing because I don't think my voice sounds good. I don't like to say that I sing. Every time I go to a party, they're like, sing, 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 sing. O sea, que cante. O sea, quieren que cante en todos lados. Pero yo me siento así de que, uh, I didn't warm up. What if, what if I mess up? What if my voice doesn't work? Uh. Ay, you, you see? You see? I get so distracted. I get so distracted and out of topic. Stop. Stop it. Ay, the light, it hurts. I'm not wearing my glasses and that's why I'm telling you guys what if I what if you can see my lazy eye my now yeah yeah pues. I started this channel because I want to show my singing so I want to do covers I want to do uh, live singing covers and all that stuff but I also want to use this channel to I don't know I feel that YouTube is used for entertainment and education And it's really good. Like YouTube is right now the biggest thing in the world. Like the platform is growing. Like it's growing. And I'm not doing this to be like, oh yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I'm gonna get rich out of this. Like I know I'm not gonna get rich out of this. I only have like 10 subscribers. Like, come on. Who's gonna think that I'm rich out of YouTube? But what I wanna do is that I wanna make a difference no not make a difference but send out a message like as I'm cleaning myself from all those negative um, thoughts about myself and how insecure I am or that sometimes I can't have fear or anything that's what I'm trying to like take out of myself as I'm doing this channel and cleansing myself from all those negative 
thoughts about myself and negativity and um just not believing in myself i want to make my viewers like feel good about themselves be like okay if this loser can do it so can i if this loser can do it so can you but i don't know what i'm doing yet so <laughs> we'll just see you get me this is what videos are all about you get me they're like oh yeah you have to be perfect you have to have like a pose you have to be like hey guys this is my channel and today i will be talking about being so perfect in my perfect little world in my perfect little mind no no like no no i'm not perfect i know i'm not perfect like i complain about myself five times a day like i want to use this channel other than to other than talking nonsense and saying how my day was and what songs I'm gonna be doing and how <laughs> or what I'm gonna be doing, I wanna send out a message that every day you can start changing yourself. Not only changing yourself, <laughs> not only changing yourself physically, but also emotionally, mentally, and just. Emocionalmente, mentalmente, how? You see, I don't even know what I'm saying in English or Spanish. And I then that's, ya si quiero ser un canal, Dios de la vida santa. Anyways, ustedes me entienden. Like, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that I want to do a difference with my channel. I want to be a good person to my viewers and my followers. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna get with this, but I'm just doing this as a hobby. You get me? Like, I promise that I will make this channel as normal as possible. Not normal, because I'm not normal. Like, I'm the most awkward. I am awkward. I don't know what I'm saying sometimes. No me se explicar bien. Like, I talk English and Spanish. I can go from one second to English, un segundo a español, y así. Soy medio pocha. Um, you're always gonna see me like I don't know you're just gonna see me as I am like no more posting no more la, 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 na, 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 na. honestly I'm just a person like you like I'm just trying to figure it out figure out where my life is gonna go like where I'm gonna go uh, what I want to do the things that I like to do. I'm still figuring out myself guys I just graduated from high school. Do you think I have any idea of, of What's coming? I hope that you guys when you guys And I hope when you guys watch this video are like, okay. Yeah, she's freaking crazy I just hope that you guys can keep up with me as long as I stay consistent I stay uh, recording videos for you guys. I think that I have to be perfect and I'm not perfect. Like I said, it, I'm not. Like, I, I'm a weird person. Soy bien rara. Like, that's another thing that you have to know about me. Soy bien rara. Like, I'm an awkward person. I'm a dork. Okay. Bueno. So I already told you uh, where I'm from what I want to do with this channel and what I'm going to be doing later on. I hope that you guys like this uh, small video of myself. If not, that's okay. You don't have to watch me if you don't, if you don't want to, that's okay. But, it cute me. I hope that you guys can like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on all of my social media. My Snapchat is Nia Del Angel. No, wait, that's not my Snapchat. Anyways, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and if you can, follow me. Uh, give a like to my Facebook page. I will leave it down here, all of my social media. So yeah, if you guys like this video, again, like it, turn on those notifications, and thank you so much for watching, and I will be doing more videos, so see you soon.